Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Okay, so here we are again with the issues. I'm going to try and show them. <clears throat> what a lot of issues this month. Let's start out with this one. Superman, number 43, 1946. I don't know if you can see that. No, you can't see it. Plastic. Superman number 43, 1946. This is an issue from 1946 at 2.0. We can do something here with this. Sorry. Move this around. This shit. This should work. There. Superman number 43 from 1946 at 2.0. This cost me a, a pretty penny. Uh, even though it's low grade, I do have the issue. Now let's go on to the next one. Let's try and show the most important ones here. Spider-Man number 96. This particular issue is uh, the issue that was against the CCA. You can see there is no Comics Code Authority and it ran three issues. The drug issue. Not CCA approved. I am an avid collector of Tales to Astonish. There is Tales to Astonish number 23 from 1961. <laughs> Excuse me. This cost me about 74 bucks. And I had to take it out of the Mylar and change it. The Silver Age. Grading. Excuse me. Nice cover. I'm gonna, uh, I am attempting to get all the issues of this Donish. This I picked up at the comic book shop. Journey into Mystery, the Thor, number 110. This cost me a pretty penny too, but I do have the issue and it's about 4.5. Original Ghost Rider number three at about 7.0. Picked that up at the comic book shop. It's very nice, as you can see. No problems with that. <clears throat> this cost me about 40 or 50 bucks. Strange Tales, iconic cover from 1964, or 60, 63 or 64, number 116. Didn't find a Doctor Strange uh, episode in there. Doctor Strange movie is coming out soon. Here's another issue of Strange Tales, 113. And another Plant Man Saga. I think that's the one I got. And I got 121. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this one's got some problems. This has uh, some problems on the back here and this little thing there and chipping. Oh, I think I got. Oh, this is the wrong one. I'm sorry. It's 85. Yeah, 83. I'm sorry. Wrong issue. Anyhow, I got that one. Another Tales to Astonish. Picked that up at the comic shop, number 92. I don't know if I showed that before, but we're going to go through these pretty quickly because 
1999 from 1976. Uh, uh, there's only six issues of this, but I did have these in my collection when I was younger. Got that, and this one's at 8.5. Parent had this in my collection when I was younger. Defenders, number 29. Situation from 28. 5.0. This cost me about $85 to get back. Did have it in my collection, and it's Defenders number 28. 7.5. A little off kilter there. Mine, I can do what I want with it. I am missing eight. 9 and 12 out of this. Defender, or no, Crisis on Infinite Earth. 10. Still trying to figure out the timeline for that. Crisis on Infinite Earth, 11. And this is a difficult issue to get. I got it at 7.5, Crisis on Infinite Earth, number seven. Classic, iconic cover from 1985. I got one through. I need three more issues for these. And uh, latest additions to my collection would be These were in my collection. All of these were in my collection when I was younger, before I lost them. Howard the Duck. Uh, Marvel was going to be sued by Disney because of semblance to uh, Donald Duck from Disney. Of course, Disney actually took over Marvel later on. Number nine. Number 12 of Howard the Duck. First appearance of Kiss in a comic book magazine ever. The Rock Group. Or the Duck number 15. Island of Dr. Bong. First and last appearance, apparently. He never appeared again. Or the Duck number 18. Had this in my collection. Younger. Which one? I had these in my collection when I was younger. Doctor Strange, second volume, number 12. Come on. Doctor Strange, number 19. I had that in my collection. The back. Doctor Strange, number 31, featuring Submariner. And Doctor Strange, number 31. 38, I'm sorry. 38, uh, two part, three part story. Logo variant. I hate logo variants. Alright, thanks for watching. And if you want these issues, buy them yourself. <laughs>